Builder game here on the channel. Uh, just... Just what feels like minutes ago, but, um... Uh, two days ago, we completed Bloodborne in our ongoing Soulsborne playthrough series. And, uh, boy, did we need something to decompress after that. So, on the advice of one of my moderators, I'm checking out something I've had in the tank for a long, long time, but never actually played before. Uh, the Gearbox Softworks pu published, uh, action shooter, uh, Bulletstorm. It's really interesting in that it's been released and re-released and expanded upon several different times. Uh, I want to say it was originally just kind of remastered for current gen consoles. It was released on the, the PS3, uh, Xbox 360, I think. And then, substantially later, after it was released, they added in, like, a bunch of additional stuff through DLC, or I think a lot of it was kind of free LC, including, like, a playable Duke Nukem, because Gearbox didn't destroy that character's reputation enough already, and uh, a couple additional modes and things like that. So, again... I have no idea what I'm doing here. I know this is going to be very loud, very silly, and probably very vulgar. So a nice, like, kind of, kind of video game junk food, uh, little break for us between Bloodborne and Souls 3. Let's see. Do we want... Subtitles are on. Good. Cinematic visuals. Use more realistic post-process in-game. Uh... Yeah, let's just keep it as it is by default. If there's any problems, we can adjust once we're in there. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on here. Let's just dive right in. Th this bodes well. <laughs> there's going to be so much swearing in the game. <laughs> they, they, they get right out in front of it and say, now, hey... This might be a bit much for some people. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll experience the game as it's meant to. Tons of gore? Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? We'll play it on normal. I'm not the world's best at shooters, but we'll we'll give it a shot. I know this game offers players like... Uh, Lots of special abilities and kind of futuristic tech and things like that to play with. But other than that, I know next to nothing. Let's make sure it's not too loud now. Calm down. Just, just calm down. You got this all wrong. Just, just listen to me. Here. The voice actor sounds very familiar. It'll help your aim. Please, please, please! Here, I, I use my die. gun. I keep the sight a few inches left to target. Nice. Challenge yourself. Look, the sooner you answer our questions, the better the odds we don't miss a bottle and evaporate your face. Okay, stop! Stop! Okay, please! So we're the good guys, obviously. I'll tell you, I'll tell you whatever you want, okay? Whatever, whatever Looking at, like, the visual design and style, right down to, like, the shaders applied to the character's that? models, this looks very similar to Blo or, uh, Borderlands. Per. Doubled after he raided that Confederate supply liner. <laughs> Serrano himself put up the mark. Half a billion? Not bad. Maybe for you. I am worth twice that. Well, now, I appreciate you being no, honest no, with hey, us. Hey! Hey, what the fuck, man? I, I told you everything! Uh, yeah, but you tried to kill us, see? Telling us why doesn't earn you a reprieve. So we're, we're opening the game... Son of a bitch! I told you all I know! ...with an execution. That's, uh... Okay, so maybe this ain't Borderlands. Third bounty hunter this week! Rano was stroking one hell of a murder boner, man. Let's go loot a few Confederate ships. Earn our bounty. Oh god, I know I know his voice as well. Just... What do I know it from? They've clearly got a prominent voice cast, because I've heard these guys on just about everything. So it looks like I can't exactly aim down the site properly yet. You have a pretty awesome... 
kick maneuver, though. Damn it! Just wonder. So we're some kind of outlaws. MCS, how's the first impression? Um, this is going to be very, very Gearbox. I know that much. It's, well, shall we say not mature, but incredibly vulgar. Uh, it's uh, probably going to be a fun little largely mindless action shooter, which is something I'm certainly not opposed to after everything we've uh, been through over the past couple weeks. Important things to the intoxicated. Is it just like it's gonna be a lot more kinetic and dog shit. Your mom survived. Like kind of vi uh, visceral than like a, a modern cover shooter, and I kind of like that. I think the last shooter I played through, like all the way, was maybe uh, Wolfenstein, the uh, the New Order, was it? Show me you can. That was a really good game. And she says one thing to keep in mind, this is a European game. Uh, it's from Poland. Oh, wow. So just published by Gearbox, then, probably with some support when it comes to visual design anyway. Because, again, these character models, the shaders, everything, this looks very, very, very Borderlands. So... Which one of you shitheads left an over grenade? By the, the way, should I, like, uh, tag the stream as for mature audiences only for this one, or... Like, I'm, I'm uncertain as to what the best thing could do. Yeah, MC says the game made by people can fly. Gotcha. Nope. But there is paint thinner in the story. MC says probably yes. Okay, give me one moment. I'm sure we can figure out how to do this. We're learning how to do Twitch on the fly. Yay. Okay. Stream. And he said I should have warned about the language. Oh no, the game did. That's that's just fine. Um One moment. We we may have to uh We may have to pop out and back in. In fact we will wait, no, hold on, hold on. There's another way to do this. There's another way to do this. Give me just a second here. So if we go to our creator dashboard. Stream manager. No. There we go. That should do it. Now let me get back to my, uh, my mod view, and we should be in business. All right, there we are. Link, we've got trouble. I need you deck side, now! Oh, you hold down the X button to sprint? That's kind of unusual, but all right. MC says, I was looking into it myself. Mods cannot set mature only, it seems. Yeah, I think it's in, like, the streamer's own, like, uh... I was following uh, leads on Confederate supply liners. Control board. Came out of warp, and... It was just... There. The Ulysses. I'm getting us out of here. Warping to a dark matter field. Try and lay low until... Oh, we're not going anywhere. That's the Confederation's prize warbird. Very cool-looking ship. Uh... Board. Christmas come early, boys. We got us some massive. Well, these characters are like Gears of War ugly, though. To deliver some reparation. We're with you, Gray. Serrano hung us all out to dry. I ain't dry no more. No, you're drunk. Again. We won't last 15 <sighs> seconds. You've lost your nerve, Ishii. I honor my oath to serve you, despite your recklessness. But this. I will not die for your revenge, Is Gray. Our revenge. Ulysses wants to open a communication channel. <laughs> Arm forward cannons. They'll get the message. Any of you want a mutiny? Now's the time. No takers. Again, they have a great A voice cast. Come on. 
Let's make Serrano wish he triple that bounty. Yeah, th this is gonna go well. Oh, we're we're actually controlling this. Okay, so we want to destroy the targets, but ooh, we aim control is rough. Yikes. If anything, it's like maybe just a little on the sensitive side. The visuals are very impressive, though. Well, we're getting them. I think. Or not. Was was that supposed to happen? Ishii. Okay, fine. Okay, that was supposed we were all to happen. Dead men anyway. Dead for years now. MC says full clip improved the graphics Just a lot. Yeah, I can tell definitely. One last thing. Just had to make sure we didn't go to hell alone, General. Gonna take you. Take every motherfucking last one of you with us. And a sudden plunge in the sullen swell. Ten fathoms deep. On the road to hell. I... Honestly, like, like I know at least a lot of the marketing around the time of launch was based around kind of the game's incredibly, like, kind of ridiculous, bombastic uh, nature. And I can't tell if this is deliberately campy or meant to be played straight. I, I'm tending towards the former. Like, this is, like a lot of games and other products around that time were the last console generation, a loving pastiche of, like, 80s action and sci-fi tropes. I think that's what's going on here. MC says it is deliberate. I thought so. Like, you, you wouldn't put Duke Nukem in a completely serious game, especially after Duke Nukem Forever. MC says the devs were fans of Duke Nukem and made it their own. Yeah, yeah, and they were able to get him in the game thanks to, uh... Your fancy new gravity boots make assassination time fun, Doc! Oh, this is very nice. One should take no joy in killing. We are soldiers, not assassins. So, what, you just maybe need, like, a softer title, Ishii? Is that it? How about, uh, Disagreeable Person's Disposal Unit? You're pushing me, Ralph. No, but if I was gonna, this'd be the place to do it. Okay, so then do we, uh... Oh, here we are. As he says, you could change the sensitivity anytime you feel it's too much. Uh, when I'm control in control of my my character, it doesn't seem that bad at all. It was just a little a little sensitive during the turret section, which, seeing as how the ship got destroyed, I imagine was deliberate. All right, there's three, two, either the target or a decoy. Oh. Well, okay, there that goes. Now we've got tons of corporate security to fight through, probably. Serrano wants explosives on that computer. As he says, get you, yeah, uh, even on PC, it's made to be hard to control. Yeah, 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 that opening pickup. section, Don't anyway. Sweat, boss. We're on schedule. Hey! What the fuck? I told you to rig these to blow, not check your goddamn email. What are you doing on here? What am I looking at? Every hit we've done. We've been killing innocent people. Novak was a reporter. Just finished an mm. article on Serrano's corruption. Get Serrano on the line. General Serrano, I the have a- What are you calling me for, ass maggot? Are you calling me from the job site? You ignorant 
that piece of shit. Shut the fuck up. Answer me a question. These people. Very, have very you mature. Innocent um, civilians? deep stories, Ellen. In the name of sweet Mary Mother of Christmas, did you think you were doing out there all this time? You namby pamby cocksucks. Our Confederate sanctioned. We've got a voice actor doing his you very best Arlie Ermy impression, it sounds like. Slave traders, mass murderers. Yeah, I lied. So what? Who did we just kill? Novak. Held incriminating evidence against you, sloppy shitheads. You killed him to cover up what you do. And what exactly do we do? You serve proudly at the pleasure of a general of this confederation that you love with such a fervor you would gleefully sacrifice. Yeah, this is like an 80s action movie, straight up. I say so to keep her safe, your commanders happy, and your government's sovereignty strong. Now, you festery assholes! Either make with one sweet and sloppy apology, or I will fuck up your lives! I am gonna kill you! Hey, man! What the fuck? That was a That was also a hologram, not, not gonna do much good there, buddy. We'll get to the Spectre. Jump to the side systems. Outside Confederate jurisdiction. I'll think we're Looks gonna a bit like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, doesn't he? Must be the hair. It's it's gotta be the hair. Oh my god. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. You're going to be fine. Is she interested in seeing what the Confederate forces look like? Oh. They were cool in that kill zone sort of way. Things are getting fun. Come on, Greg. You let me do all the killing. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this feels very punchy. Everything's got a nice weight to it. I like that. Oh, sorry, these aren't Confederate troops. They're all, um, bounty hunters. Ishisato. You're famous where I come from. Gonna make me famous killing you. Ishi! Kid, get to the elevator. Go down. NC says, by the way, to understand the overuse of swear words, there's a common sense for those who watch American media in Europe that Americans swear a lot. Uh, it's a bit over the top with that notion. No, no, no. Uh, we do, for the record. We definitely do. But also, this is playing very heavily on 80s uh, action film tropes, which even in America are lampooned for being ridiculously hammy and, like, riddled with this very, very puerile notion of machismo, so lots of big muscles and big guns and cussing and drinking and smoking, and it makes for great parody material, and some of those films are legitimately classic. I, I'm not, I'm not knocking him. I love a good action film. Ishii. Ishii. Ah, damn it. Like, even by our standards, these kind of movies that this game is leaning heavily on are, uh, uh, a bit unsubtle and I extremely bombastic. I'm reminded of a very bad Bethesda game called Rogue Warrior that kind of played on similar tropes but played them all straight. Need to be getting the hell off this ship. We're not leaving Ishi. Not if there's any chance we can save it. Okay, okay. If Doc thinks we can do something. I need you to fix it, Doc. All those cyber patch jobs you did on the field. There I must can be... replace fingers and limbs. But look at him, Gray. Half his body is crushed. At least try. He'd do it for any one of us. 
As he says, ouch, you should never Maybe be straight with this level like of charge fusion cell to power ridiculousness, the definitely. Uh, but there's a game that tries to do just that. It's called Rogue Warrior, and it's like two hours long. It's a terrible first-person shooter, most like well-known today for having Mickey Rourke voice the protagonist, who was the actual founder of SEAL Team 6. Uh... And, uh, almost all of his dialogue being ridiculous, nonsensical swears. It's... It's a mess and a half. Ah, I see. We've got pirates or something. More bounty hunters, I guess? You're like my own personal rabbit's foot, boss! Rainbows, puppies, and lucky fucking clovers spew from your ass. Shut up. Come on, the other exit. All right, I, I can dig this. I like the level design so far. Oh, here they come. So I can use my boots to not only knock enemies back, but suspend them in mid-air, which is quite nice. So it seems like we're really tanky, as is everybody else. This is a terrible way to spend an afternoon. Come on, keep moving. No, no new or other weapons yet. Oh my god. Okay, we've landed in Mad Max. That's that's okay. There we are. Yeah, this feels good. This feels good. Very fast, very weighty, very visceral. And there's the Ulysses. Sucking a bunch of bandits off the promontory for us. All right, so we want to aim, as with most shooters, straight for the head, but it seems like these guys are extremely tanky otherwise, so there's really, yeah, not much uh, of a choice for us. One of Serrano's new squad. That clown? MC says try between the legs. Oh no, I know there's like special, uh, special perks for like, Defeating enemies in certain ways, like through electrocution or shots to the genitals or all that. Uh, it seems like the best way to go for these guys, at least, is straight for the head. And we're going to be fighting this like final echo Confederate elite. elite. Don't look too elite now, does he? Rumors were true. Final Echo are using loose. Oh, nice. I thought instinct moderated weapons were outlawed. Yeah, they were. Hey, man, if that's gunpowder, we nice need toy. it. So pull up your skirt and strap Dagger. that dildo on. Let's try it out. So it's like a gravity tether. This ought to be pretty Ow. cool. God damn. I can actually feel this thing talking to me. Oh, super boss, real happy for you. Now, can you make yourself useful and pop open the hood on this pod? Oh, yeah, here we go. Hot oh, day. nice. I love that. I love that. Grab one of those fusion cells. Oh, right. Thanks. I'm just a waterhead. I forgot why I done marched out here. I love grappling hooks and whips and things like that in my games. Uh, yet another reason why I absolutely adored playing as a Nero in Devil May Cry 4. He had a similar move he could perform with his, uh, like, demonic arm. There we go. Right. Grab your socks and pull up your jocks. You gotta go. This even looks very Borderlands, like, not entirely dissimilar to Pandora. 
Well, I say that, but then again, this is also the same uh, time where, like, post-apocalyptic settings and games were extremely popular. Less so, this generation. I'm kind of glad of that, because as beautiful as this is, uh, only so many ways you can really make a deserted, obliterated wasteland that aesthetically appealing. And I'm the kind of guy who always preferred his sci-fi very clean and utopian, like Star Trek Mass Effect type stuff. Oh, this feels good, though. Very, very good. Over there. Out, right. Ever since that these are going to be our enemies in the early stages, kind of to help us learn the game systems, then we'll see more and more bounty hunters and eventually, like, those Confederate Echoes uh, taking over with better and better weaponry, of course. Oh, there they are. My bad. Get over here. <laughs> Hello? Do, do we have all the... Yeah, these are all the same weapon. We must be topped out on ammo. Okay. I'm all out of blood packs. One more minute, he's gone, you hear me? We're here. Hold tight. If she's lucky, I got so much love for him. Not many other folks I'd do this for. Doc, I'll fix him, Rel. You'll see. Alrighty. Hurry! Look Made it. Him. Are we good? Good. Well millions of neurotransmitters. And now we're going to have to defend the med bay, right? Or something similar? Yep, here we go. I have a feeling there's going to be lots of explosions in this game, so I would... I would gladly take, um... Oh dear. Oh no. I missed something there or nothing we can do? Well, everything's going to hell in the med bay. We can take care of these guys, though. Let's see some fight, you savage cocksuckers! Great! Oh dear, again? Yeah, so it feels very much like, uh... Like one of those retro shooters harkening back to the design aesthetics and sensibilities of the 90s that uh, have been really popular in the past couple of console generations. It feels very good, but compared to a lot of those retro-inspired shooters, it feels like it's uh, considerably more streamlined, at least early on in its design. Like, the control is being taken away from me, or I'm being asked to perform very specific maneuvers at very specific times very, very often. Now, I have a feeling that's not going to be a persistent thing throughout, but that is something I've not seen in another one of these uh, style shooters I've played. Shoot me! Do it! All right. <laughs> this could not have gone much worse for us, could it? I think the special shading on the characters' models, like what we saw in Borderlands, has also helped uh, the game's visuals age really, really gracefully. God, God is not relevant. Please, help. If he says it's one of the few games that made some decent use of QTEs, I think there were a lot that did uh, a decent job of them, like uh, God of War-esque games that use them for very cinematic finishing moves or maneuvers against bosses, I typically find really, really solid and kind of enjoyable, actually. You are going to help me. I am having a difficult time seeing So he's been corrupted somehow, right? It must be the biotech in his head. thirst for revenge just killed our crew. Or not. 
I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry? Easy. Listen to me. The bioprocessor. You can't let it take control. You just can't let that happen. I'm going to kill you, Gray. I see no logical reason not to. That is a final echo instinct leash. Yeah. So what? The communication line. Open it. Mute the mic. Repeat. All final echo survivors report positions. Prisca, this is Serrano. I'm <laughs> alive, but stuck on some damn hotel rooftop. Shake that sweet little can of yours. Locals are congregating. I'm in the shit here and need some help. Any other echo survivors, switch to tracker zero in on my location. I'm off to guard the general downtown. Serrano. Motherfucker is here. <laughs> That changes things, Ishii. Even if you don't want to assassinate that son of a whore, if he's here, rescue jump ships will be here soon. Process that chance of survival. Can you track the woman? Yeah, got it. We find that broad. We can track her to Serrano and- We use the general to get off world. Killing him is counterproductive. I know how important it is for you to help me. Yeah, of course. I wasn't thinking of killing him. We get to him, get you off-world. I know some black-level bioengineers. We can get you fixed up, Ishii. I swear it on my mother. Then if I expire, you have failed your last bid for redemption. Guess so. An interesting the way of keeping our protagonist from slipping into out-and-out out villain hero uh, territory. Die. The freak jobs that attacked us got a large cluster of them southeast of here. They gotta have some power cells. Then I will follow you this one last time. All right, so we're gonna be fighting our way through some more bandits. There are many volatile components amid the debris. Roger. There we are. Oh, what, what do we got? Yep, I was expecting that. You can probably also lash them, but I doubt that would be a very good idea. What the hell? Uh, we, we did kick it, but... Like so, and like so, there we go. Doubt they're gonna be putting up too much more resistance, eh? How you holding up? A lot of these, like, terrain set pieces are very, very cool. They've designed a, I'm left to endure it a lovely but desolate environment. I quite like this, I really do. You got any idea what we're looking hmm. at here? What is this? Ishii? No. It is Confederate, though. The markings date to operation logs from over a year ago. You just know Serrano is up to some shit. What does this do? Is this like a power cell or... Oh! Upgrades! There we go. Yeah, no, this is going to start giving a score for performing certain maneuvers in combat. Yeah. Skill shot database. Lovely. Uh, and each of these are worth X amount of points or credits, and I guess we can spend those on upgrades, right? Son of a mother. Nice. Tech is wild. Very this nice. cocky leash is grading my performance. It will have further opportunity to mark your efficiency. We are under attack. Right on. Right, and now our points are going to appear in a... as overlays. As part of the HUD. There we go. We earn fewer points for performing certain maneuvers uh, in succession, which is pretty normal, I believe. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice way to incorporate score into a modern game. As long as there's something we can use all these points for, I will be very, very happy. Yep, they can be spent in drop kits to buy weapons, ammo, and upgrades. Very nice. Okay, we can't upgrade... Hmm. Upgrade ammo capacity. I guess that's all we, we can do, right? Yeah, we'll upgrade our carbine. 
And, uh... Yeah, well, Reddit will buy a clip, why not? Good way to incentivize your players trying out different moves or playing stylishly. We got the patched up trophy, nice, nice. Out of range, not for long, though. Go for some of those groin shots. MC says you should be able to check the skill point database at any time. Yeah, you can. Let's see, what happens if I throw you? Well, I was going to go for the cactus, but that'll do as well. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This also encourages interacting with our environment in many different and gruesome ways. Kind of reminds me of a. Oh, what was it? Back on the Wii Mad World? Yeah. Yeah, man, that was a hell of a game. Together. Base camp up ahead. Okay. Oh, hello. It doesn't make sense. We're in the side quads. No colonies or Confederate troops anywhere near here. So we can heal by ducking into cover. That's quite nice. And we could just blow everything right the hell up. I think that's the way the game is meant to be played. Just destroy everything quick as you can. Oh, and already we've got another drop kit, eh? Yeah, why not? We can upgrade our capacity again, but I, I don't think we really need that yet. No worries. We're good. By the way, I hope everybody joining us on stream today is having a wonderful day thus far. Thank you so much for being here. It's my first time playing an FPS in ages, so... We're doubtless going to have some, some fun coming to grips with this. Wow, they could take several headshots to a completely unarmored head. That's quite something. Give me MC says each drop pod adds new skill shots in general. Oh nice. go. Doing quite all right and getting scores of upgrade points as we do. Oh, geez. Still alive? Well done. This place is filthy with low spread radiation. Neither of us will survive if we linger. Just like the old days. Let's collect Forget all of their of carbines nostalgia. if we can. Any collectibles around here? Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, there was a bunch of ammo. That's something. It's quite a nice something, actually, considering it looks like to encourage buying ammo. It might be, for certain weapons, a little scarce as we go on. Oh. Don't want those to go off with us anywhere near. Okay, so we get skill points I've for looking at, All like, important uh, happenings in complex. the terrain. You sure you're up for this kind of fight? MC says not, ammo scarce in general. For any of this. Well, we seem pretty we powerful no in melee options. with our lash and kick, so ah, that should be alright. Enemies could take a damn shot, too. MCs especially with harder difficulty, I wouldn't doubt it. While they're still standing, even after, like, a throat shot, I bet there's opportunity to, like, knock them into something for, uh, more points. 
Yeah, yeah, this is like an FPS version of Mad World. In that game, you were rewarded with more and more points and currency and things like that. Uh, the more brutal you played or the more creative you got with your combat maneuvers. But the only difference was you used those points directly uh, for progression no, rather than for upgrades, usually. Skillful. Though you could unlock this some, like, no weapons and things like that operation. in the world as you carry on anyway. Oh, joint. dear. They are getting their deposit money back. And since I do recommend reading through the skill shot at some here. point, so many ways to kill, I'll explain, too. Oh, that's nice, yeah. General, Peacemaker, Carvine. Oh, we can slide underneath enemies and then shoot them. Kill an enemy by shooting him in the ass. Yeah, this is, this is a game that Gearbox was involved with. Uh... So they're specific to each database. There's some secret ones. That's that's pretty nice. They give you lots and lots of options. I appreciate that. Hello, drop kit. What all do we have here? Fires a special purpose clip of a hundred bullets in a single concentrated blast. Instantly annihilates most enemies. Ah. Uh, don't have the the charge or don't have the credits for it yet and probably don't want to buy it anytime soon because it seems like our standard rounds do deal more than enough damage to to suit our purposes at present Rise and shine, birthday bear. the man really sinks of course into work all right let's try that slide kill very nice. Very nice. I like that. Presumably we can even use that to take some larger enemies off their feet. Hold on. We've got one for the ass. Apparently that is a thing that I'm being encouraged to do. Very hard to earn some of these, like, body part specific uh, kills, if only because your bullets send them flying and flinching all over the place so easily. Alright, what's in here? Oh! Glorious mother of shit! Got That's very striking. We're going to, to have to fight some of these at some point, aren't we? On War World. Destroy everything. Leave these savages no means to give chase. I like the way your new brain thinks. Can't wait to fight some soldiers in these because those cockpits are nice and open, vulnerable to headshots. Oh dear. Oh, they've got a perfect position on us, don't they? There we go. Come on. Well, we tried. So tough to get that one. So tough to get, like, either the, the crotch or the butt, which are both, like, skill point shots, apparently. Oh, hello. Yep. Oh, I see. I see. We have to, like, overload it. Okay. We can't just, like, yank it. Oh, damn it. Damn it all. Yeah, we'll learn this. Oh, come on. There we are. So we have to be tight with our timing at certain points. That's that's all right. Deep oh, what a beautiful horizon! Gravity fusion pistons. You Jeez. can charge up there. We're not going to buy the charge Fighting, quite yet. Hurry. 
Ulysses' crash site is on the other side of that city. Ooh, wow, look at this. Even for, like, a dilapidated post-apocalyptic settlement, it still looks very colorful and vibrant. Rare that you'll see that. I, I quite like that. Anything new? No? Kill a gyrocopter pilot while the vehicle is airborne. Hell yes. Uh... Come on, sweet baby! Take what I give you, Gene Trash! Come on, there we go. Oh, oh, brilliant survival instinct there, buddy. Oh my god, he did survive, and it detonated on him at point blank. Well done. Got exactly what he came for. Plenty of murder to go around. Getting beat on the pilot might be slightly harder than I thought. Oh no. Come on, come on. Their movement makes it very hard to get a beat on the pilot. This is not like a lot of hovering airborne uh, vehicles I've faced in shooters before. Their movement's very erratic. Granted, they are like old junkers, so that makes sense, but... Oh, I thought we might at least get a special special skill shot for detonating one of them midair instead of yanking them apart, but okay. Probably best to play it safe from here on out. Oh dear. Good to see your sense of humor coming back. I intended no humor. <laughs> You're killing me, pal. Murder them in their holes. And you say you intend no humor. Murder holes. <laughs> Comedy gold, my friend. Out of range, right? Oh, there's plenty of them in there. There you go! <laughs> well, we tried. Oh, dear. Okay, nothing too bad so far. I know, yeah, there was another gyro around here. Oh, right, you're... Sorry, there's a second button press. Like that. Oh, beautiful. This is good stuff here. Nice warm up for what I'm gonna do when I get my hands. As he says, explosive barrels behind. Yeah, I guess I guess the gyro clashed on, or crashed into them. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Mindless tools. Your rage is misdirected. We have like the same upgrades available. I think I'm not going to go for any of them because I'm waiting to unlock like either an upgrade for our leash or uh, a different weapon. Either or. And he says the charge is the best through and through. I'm not into, like, chewing through ammo like that, though. There we go. Oh, they use special ammo. Okay. Well, next time around, maybe. Right now, I'm gonna get me some more skill points through clever use of a turret. We 
We've got more bullets. Chase some thunder, boys! There we are. What you got? Not entirely sure why their school bus is hanging from the rafters, but I kind of like it. Oh yeah, this this feels good. Nice, powerful, heavy turret section. All used up. Well, that wasn't so bad, now was it? Uh, oh, where, where'd he go? Gray, I'm not well. I can feel myself slowing down. Hold it together. I'll do the heavy lifting. Just stay close. Wait a moment. May not be playing the most exciting fashion, but so far we're not doing too bad. I'm actually quite surprised. It's been so long since I've played a game like this. We're not doing too, too bad. And she says try pushing them off the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think we have yet. It's a good idea. Vertigo, nice. This game actually does a grand job of making you feel powerful without necessarily unbalancing the game in your favor. There's lots and lots of enemies, and that's where the, the threat comes from. Not the fact that there are enemies at all, a la most modern, like, cover bay shooters. Oh dear. They give you plenty of drop kits, which I assume also act as like, uh... As checkpoints. Sure, what do we got? Kill an enemy, kill an enemy by flinging them into an electrical source, uh, kicking him against a surface. Kill an enemy who's on fire. Okay, we can we can get a couple of these. Run away! Oh, that's not that's not a good idea. Yeah, there we go. Into the surface, there we go. Thank you, thank you. I'll take my ammo, please. That's it, Ishii. Dinner time. I'll need a moment. Alright, so now we're going to have to defend Ishii, no doubt. Brilliant, good idea. Talk to me. You scared the dick off me. I'm feeling much better. Grace, glad to hear. Yeah, this is definitely an over-the-top action movie pastiche. Not bad. Predicted imminent detonation within the gravity core generators. I predict an imminent getting the fuck out of here. All right. Oh. Not exactly a grapple, but we are just climbing our way across. Oh, yet another drop kit. Okay. Finally sure. smiles down. Cargo train up ahead. Last train out of explosion town. Move your shit. Woo! <laughs> MC says that's a rhythm minigame of sorts, I can kinda tell. Uh, not a very good one, uh, but it, it's there. I've seen other games do something similar. Uh, I'm trying to think there was one that did it so much better uh, with, like, agile movement and things like that recently, but I'm not entirely sure what it was. Lots of stuff to do with mini-bosses, so we're going to be fighting one of those in due time, I suspect. He says you have to do it at the moment he grabs the rope. Okay. I'm 
more electrical wires around here we could make use of. Oh. Whoops. Nice, nice. Ah, here's our mini boss. Lovely. Oh, great. Where did this giant dick come from? He's mega charged with an ink power weaponry. Looks mega charged with a dozen buckets of fried chicken. That sounds good right about now. So we want to remove his helmet, right? If we can. Oh dear. How on earth are we gonna manage this? Well, most of the good stuff doesn't seem to be working, so... No, no, don't do that. It'd be great if we still had some of those explosives around, wouldn't it? That's it. Little closer. Oh no, no, he will kick me before I can kick him. There we go. Oh, there we are. MC says, or charge. Yeah. Yeah, but not right now. Hey, sexy. Come here. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Got some weight on you. Incoming! Another, another turret gun section slash an opportunity to get some excellent points racked up. And we are just destroying the entire settlement. Or rather, the generators are destroying most of the settlement. We're helping polish it off. And I would expect they're all trying to flee as well, but... Well, we've got a big gun and they don't, so... Oh dear. Oh, it's some kind of excavation machine. We're going to have to destroy that somehow, aren't we? Or run from it. MC says it was so peaceful. I guess it was before we showed up. Oh dear. Okay. Boss fight against an excavator. This is gonna be interesting. Our next appointments arrived. You up for the fight? Oh no! Sorry, boss fight all. against for actual dark. Mad Max. Well. Nice to have you back, Ishii. <laughs> Aiming for the tires, that usually seems to work in these kind of games. Also leads to some of the most fun you can ever have in Sleeping Dogs, let me tell you that right now. How you doubt we're going to be able to dent the excavator like this? Anything special for this? No, nothing here. That's fine. I quite like this, though. I like this little section. And they're attacking the train and not oh, us, is which is lovely. Welcome. Lots of carnage, a lot of the, like, destruction and explosions. They, they feel very satisfying. They're, nothing's underplayed here, that's for certain. Okay, so what do we do about you? Oh, that's... that's another train. Oh, 
There we go. We've got him. Oh, another vulture. Oh, wow, they're throwing everything we've seen so far at us. And we just get to, like, mulch it all. That's lovely. That is lovely. Looks like, at least with the chain guns, there is extremely minimal aim assist, or at least it feels like it. And that's that's not a bad thing to see. Hell yeah! As he says, you can also leash and chain gun. Well, okay then. Not entirely sure why you would right here, because the chain gun is just infinitely more effective than the leash is right now. But I like that they give you the freedom. Right, so it's just us and the big wheel now, right? Which is, it's still coming. Oh no, no, now there's a, a gunship, a much larger gunship. Torpedo locked on to us, shoot it! Well, doing my best. Oh, that thing's a torpedo? It's got one more, looks like. Aiming for the tor- oh, I was going to try to aim for the torpedo to see if, uh, we could detonate it while it was still attached to the aircraft. No dice. Another one down. All right, almost got it. Sweet son of More a vultures. Right wheels right on our asses. Shoot those tanks. Knock it off course. Of course. Oh yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, more vultures. Right, can't get distracted. It's coming back on us. Oh, so it's not done. We're going to have to dispatch it or knock it off course several times. Okie dokie. We can do that. Yeah, this is very cool. Very, very scenic. Right like something out of a, a cheesy B action movie. I like that. Let us a minute. If that. Reinforcements. Oh, we've got another train incoming. Hold on, they're ramming. Okay, not good, not good, not good. There we go. MC says you get the parachute, which is more points, and in harder difficulty, just shooting them isn't enough. Oh no. I'm playing this on normal, so we, we should be fine. Oh, Grant. What on earth? Okay, that's a pretty satisfying conclusion to, I guess, what's technically the game's prologue? Yeah, that's solid. That's rock solid, man. You okay? I may not have a ton to say about this game, but I'm I'm enjoying it so far, yeah, given what it what it is. Be broken. It's fine. This thing is holding on by an ass hair. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to press those triggers, or I am pressing them at the at the exact moment his uh, hands attach to the the pipe, but it's not giving me the points for whatever reason, which is fine. It's not many. So we're going from the wasteland to a jungle. OMC says not the end of the prologue. Okay. We had no business surviving that. Some good and kind deity somewhere wants to see us pull out of this. Moment of luck. Hold on, we might, uh, we might actually, while we're here, want to, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll unlock the charge capacity for now. Oh, and it's, it can be upgraded, nice. Uh, for now I'll just buy a, a clip to make sure we've got enough ammo. Oh, beautiful, I... 
was under the impression that all or most of the game took place in, like, that wastelandish setting. But we've got diverse environments. I quite like that. Oh, target too fast. Oh, that is very interesting. Ah, they've got flare guns. Well, let's have a bit of fun with this, shall we? Very, very nice. Whoops. Sorry. You'll be fine. Up and over. So we've got a second weapon, and already I'm quite liking it. It's a heavy... basically a heavy pistol. Oh dear, more of these? How much ordnance do these guys have? MC says aim for the limbs. Uh, we're doing fine, but I'll give it a try. Oh, we finally get to maneuver one of those. Very nice. Oh, right. Yeah, y'all are still here. accessible through this cave. Well, this is the weapon we're getting ammo for around here, so this is the weapon we're using. Oh, wow. Excellent sense of scale you get in here. I've located an exit on the far side of the cavern. Very nice. You can get some serious momentum when you're sliding as well. So... How are you doing with keeping that logic code from taking over? I am engaged in an endless struggle to maintain dominance of my own mind, thank you. Well, try and make jokes, maybe. Use sarcasm. Hey, I can't read it. Might help keep you in the driver's seat. Just saying. That did a bit better that time. Disgusting. Oh, dear. Uh, fighting some kind of insects now, maybe, if we're in here? I mean, you don't see giant glowing eggs for nothing, right? What exactly right? are we looking at here? We're looking at a nest. Well, then, let's just hope the mamas hold up in new digs. Only way out of here is through them. Holy damn, that stinks! Yeah, this, this can't possibly go poorly, could it? Well, they give a score, so let's destroy as many of them as we can. Anything back the other way? The visual design actually makes some pretty impressive use of color throughout. Like, there was this trend in games at the time to make even in sci-fi, like, very desolate kind of brown and gray settings, as I'm sure so many people are aware. Uh, but this goes for a similar setting and just enriches it with a lot of color. It would be a lie. Double time, get out of here! Okay, good. Man, 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 man. Make like a Kaiser and roll! Oh, that was a bad line. That, that's definitely some 80s cheese. Whatever it is, it's best, and it's right behind us! Shut up and run! Go, go, go! Oh, wait, over here. Here we are. Whatever it is, it's so large and so angry it's causing the entire cave to collapse. That's not great.
Oh, that's interesting. MC says if you take any path, you reach a dead end and must take the other path with these eggs, so it changes depending on your choices. That's really cool, actually, and it changes the level design on, a fl on the fly. Let's do it. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Telling you, hell of a fishing hole down there. Gotta be some big ones down yonder. You're about to see for yourself. We're too heavy. This vulture's going down. Ah, don't tell me that shit. Chapter boss, that I'm guessing. Impending doom right behind us. Train's leaking fuel. Shoot it! Ah, brilliant. Sure. Oh my god. I, I am noticing now, though, there are a lot of QTEs. Like, a lot of them. We got the all about heavy metal trophy for clearing the stage, I suppose. I do appreciate that there seem to be a lot of these stages or scenes, but they're all very, very compact. MC says, end of the prologue. Gotcha. It's all right. Let it out. Fine. And I don't think so. Who knows what the water did to your sutures or the robotic shit. I'm fine. All right, all right. Take it down a I think that's actually best for these types of games. The uh, levels, or chapters, I think they're called in this game, are, uh... We are closing in on the beacon. Are relatively compact, like dense with set pieces and enemies and things like that, but not like super big or super long. I like that. Hello. Let's upgrade that pistol, can we? The screamer, powerful and accurate. The high caliber revolver will stop almost any enemy dead in their tracks. Uh, sure, we'll pay the 600. Uh, upgrade capacity, why not? And I'll actually do it again. I'm actually quite a big fan of, of, uh, sidearms in games like this. MC says, and the nice thing about this game is that it wants to be, like, arcadey and bombastic, not, like, dramatic or soap opera or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, I think, to a certain extent, there is there is merit in deliberately playing up the campiness or hamminess of what you're doing. Like, Yakuza is a series that does this very well. It's a video game, and it's aware that it's a video game, and then integrates that sort of cognizance into its own design to be, uh, or create a more fun and memorable experience for the player. Uh, it's not so focused on telling uh, a purely serious story. It's focused on telling a serious story very well when it does. We've got a nice little alpine settlement here. Let's check it out, see what we got. That must be the hotel where General Serrano's hold up. Area scan. Multiple hostiles. Let's get to work. Time for me to do what I do best. Desperately attempt to shoot somebody in the head. Oh, yeah, I like this thing. I like it a lot. Semi-auto, extremely powerful. Well, My kind of weapon in a shooter. Get some oh, you even look at a bottle. I'm going to skin you alive. Oh, that must be one of the 12 steps, huh? At the back of the columns! Oh, I can see we've already got another drop kit. Oh, you even get points for shooting down like the little insects. So now our little flare gunners are being mixed in with the standard bandits. Seems like we can't uh, we can't lash them, but the trade-off is they're slightly frail, comparatively speaking. Oh, 
As he says, and you get a skill shot for killing an enemy in the Electro Flies. Oh, nice. Like... Well, I was going to say like so, but... No dice. What you got for us? Just some new skill points, right? Ah, you can't leash something in the water. That makes sense. Oh, this also has a charge function. A flare? Um, sure, why not? If he says you can leash them, you just have to be a bit creative. Yeah, I'm sure you, like, target a part of the enemy that's not, like, submerged fully. Yeah, kill an enemy by flinging them into a swarm of electro flies. Check the signal. Should be around here. About to find this broad and get a jump ship home. How far? Close. Looks like kicking Newsbot did absolutely nothing but allow our protagonist to, uh, work off some steam. Ah, it can yank his gun. Excellent. <laughs> Very nice. I see that gas tank. Very, very nice. Oh, did I, like, blow his flare right out of the barrel? Oh, that's lovely. We're doing good on carbine ammo. That's better than I was expecting to do. Very nice. Alright. Oh no, you don't. Man, he's still up and at- there you go, there you go. And she says, oh, you can shoot the robot. Okay, there's a whole lot to do in this game. Oh, there you are. Gently slid into the cactus, just barely pricking like the sole of his foot, and he explodes into blood. That is that is great right there. Okay, so we must be good. Shake, shake, shake your booty to the beat, beat, beat. Beats from the streets to Oh, we're we're going we're crashing a nightclub. Very nice. Love a good nightclub. Oh, it's in even worse shape than most of this place. That's a shame. What the fuck? Oh, hello there. Oh, we're fighting a chain gunner on the dance floor. That is that is lovely. Starting to get why you boys are so angry. Music explains World War Three. Yeah, yeah. This game is automatically getting some uh, some extra points from me. Classy. He says bottles to drink or shoot on the tables. Nice. Oh, I think we got this, y'all. Oh, we unlocked the Disco Inferno trophy. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. It actually is the Tramps. It was Disco Inferno. Hell yes. Gotta commend them on their choice of soundtrack. That song is an all-time classic, y'all. Disco ain't dead, but everything else in this club's about to be. He 
As he says, I always drink before getting on the dance floor. There, there's got to be something to do there, right? All right, let's let's see what we can do. If I didn't destroy all the bottles already, I may have in our. No, no, here they are. Oh, and you get points for it. Nice. I mean, I'm sure we've destroyed most of the bottles at this point. So they said this is World War III music, so this takes place in an alternate history, not just like a really dystopian future, I guess. Oh, here we go. This, this might be the highlight of the game for me. Getting absolutely plastered in the middle of a war zone while classic disco plays. This is... I know my reaction's kind of subdued right now, but this is quite magical. MC says this is the future. No, 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 I, I know that, but they said that this song, released in the 1970s, was from World War III, uh, which implies a, an alternate timeline. There we go, environmental. Best way to get huge numbers of points, in my experience so far. He says you can uh, shoot and get kill shots when drunk. I'd imagine so. Oh, that is so satisfying. Come on. There we go. Just found my groove. Oh, well, there goes the beautiful music. We got all our carbines and stuff? MC says, try a charge, please. You you must really love this mechanic. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay. Okay, that's, that's pretty nice. They're not shy about telling us exactly when and where to kick, are they? There we go. MC says each charge is unique per weapon. I know, you. you we unlock them separately. And, uh, like, the pistols is the, uh... the flare that the really, really agile fellas shoot out. So they just carpet bomb the planet with these things, didn't they? Like, no, no tactical placement whatsoever. I'll buy some ammo for my pistol, thank you very much. The skyline looks absolutely striking out in the distance. You can also leash it from beneath, that's actually really nice. Ooh! Afterburner, nice. Pretty sure that was the name of a very popular, like, uh, flight combat arcade game back in the day as well, wasn't it? Afterburner? There we go. We got them all? Uh, not all the alcohol, though. There we are. MC says, you will get into that city, yeah. End of the game, I'd imagine. Okay, okay. You never played Afterburner, but I've heard it was it was quite good for what it was. There we go. We got the drunken skill shot. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh! Jeez. Star Wars didn't. Shit. 
So, uh, suicide... ...like charger, I'm pretty sure. Yet another Borderlands favorite. Oh, what is this? Oh, I see. I see they're launching, like, remote explosives at us. What the hell? How many of these guys are there? I have no idea what we just did, but I'll take it. And we can shoot, like, the explosives themselves while they're still strapped to the enemies to, like, set them off prematurely. Okay. Okay, well, we survived. Reminds me of a soldier. As he said, should run at the enemy when strapped to one. We'll try. We'll try. You were too drunk to know what you were. Got a reasonable variety of enemy types so far. That's pretty important for this kind of type of game, I find. I mean, you're certainly not going to get bored as long as they keep introducing new content at this clip. We've also got this flail chain thing, which will be perfect for bigger enemies, I suppose. Getting intact ammo for it's gonna be a pain and a half, though, isn't it? Okay, so we've got a weapon selector, very nice. That is a special skill point, apparently. Any more alcohol around here? I mean, I'm sure there is, but... up anything over here no as he says yep much like killing all the electro flies geez that'd take a lot of unlock rearm access of course we'll buy a couple grenades and upgrade the capacity why not that would just waste your ammo though wouldn't it Get ready. Oh, here they come. Love that suspended animation uh, effect associated with the kicks and the, the lash, though. That's brilliant. There we go. Fewer and fewer enemies with the carbines are showing up. That's probably not a great sign. It's gotta be a couple they dropped over here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. As long as we stay up on our ammo, we should be just fine. Nope. Um, no. There we are. Skip the fodder. Focus on the heavy gunner. You got it. Yeah, there we go. He says you can also kick them in the fan. Oh, I know, I know there's like just tons of stuff to do here. Oh, hello. Chained those two together, very nice. Anybody got a nice gun for us? Well, a nice pistol. Which I'll take. They really want you to use your super attacks, it looks like.
anything good here? No ammo, anything like that? Oh, drop kit. Which I'm actually gonna use. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. Hmm. We'll upgrade our capacity, why not? And buy a few clips. MC says they want you to use your supers at specific Yeah, I can tell. That, that's the one thing that's probably going to be bothering me, and this is true of most shooters, to be clear, is they are really, really stumping for you to play the game in a specific way. Uh, which, for a 90s-esque shooter, is kind of unusual. She left a trail, so she doesn't know we're shadowing her. MC says you could get the thumper. If she recognizes us, it will be very difficult to convince her to aid our evacuation. Okay. If trouble, she'll recognize my boot up her ass. Take that, why not? Environmental, good. You want some of this freak? Well, that must be the Confederate commander. Alright, let's try out the flare. Very good. Yeah, I like that a bit more than the the rifle's charge, I think. Great for crowd control. Identify yourself or I will open fire! Oh, listen, lady! Please! We've been stuck here forever! Help us get an evac off MC world. says it's more that specials are fun to use and can add to the action, but are not you mandatory. Give chase, I will kill your dicks! What? What does that even mean? You're gonna kill my dick? I'll kill your dick! How about that, huh? Speaking of dick killing parties. Oof. Uh, man, I know it's on purpose, but that. Oh my god. That, uh, that writing. Jeez. Oh, we're in Act 2 already. Nice. Listen, lady, please! We've been stuck here forever! Help us get an evac off world! Yeah! Go fuck yourself! You shit piles give chase, I will kill your dicks! What? What does that even mean? You're gonna kill my dick? I'll kill your dick! How about that, huh? Speaking of dick killing parties. Alright, let's hang back this time because we know there's a bunch of these weird flail gunners around. Oh my god. Again. Again? Jesus! Okay. So there are... Not only are there occasional, like, flail gunners, they're very common enemies. And, uh, yeah. Wasn't expecting that. And here we go again. Oh, listen, lady! Please! We've been stuck here forever! Help us get an evac off world! Yeah! Go fuck yourself! You shit piles give chase, I will kill your dicks! What? What does that even mean? You're gonna kill my dick? I'll kill your dick! How about that, huh? Okay, this time staying way, way back. Because there's not a few, uh, flail gunners. There's a massive horde of them. And yes, we can shoot the flares out of the air, that's very nice. Oh, and they're not even gonna spawn until- yeah, yeah. There we go. <sighs> Did- did he just- 
teleport over there? <laughs> okay, sure. Ballsy, coming up. A precarious spot. Ooh. Sure is. Oh, I thought we would have gotten special points for for shooting him off of the raffle line. Yeah, the the timing for this is it is there, it's just very finicky. I had no There we go. Yeah, no worries. I got him. And he says generally in this section I get myself a bomb and run in the building. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely not doing that. Her signal's dead. She's on to us. <laughs> Two of 28 news bots destroyed. That's like a thing, okay. Give me some ammo, please. Thank you. Still haven't unlocked the charge for this thing, whatever it is. Alright, here they come, again. He says, I never got all the news bots or electro flies. Well, I'd imagine it'd be hell getting all of the electro flies, given A, how small there are, they are, and B, how many of them there are in, like, small clusters. Fortunately, the flail gunners most of the time only really seem to um, fire at close range. And off he goes. Very nice. I was about to say, that is some sturdy glass. Yes, he's he's teleporting all around to get to these various set pieces. That's, that's glorious. Again. Now I wonder, I do wonder, what happens when I shoot one of these guys with their own weapon? Gang bang, of course. As he says, shooting the Electra flies is easier on PC. You've got finer, like, aim control, no doubt. We'll just keep on buying some ammo, because why not? And some ammo for the flail gun, because it looks like it might be kind of useful against the other flail gunners. Oh, oh, I missed the hold L2 to look at the thing I was doing prompt. Very nice, there we go. Oh, looks like we're entering some kind of amusement park or uh, attraction. Very nice. Oh, there's another big one. Are we actually gonna kill these guys at any point, man? I will get my points, damn you. Hey, Surf Dog, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I think this is our first time seeing you around here. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Oh, hell with it. 
There we go. Oh, not much, man. Not much. Just uh, trying this out as a bit of a palate cleanser between playthroughs of Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3. It's the first shooter I've played in absolute ages, so we're, we're learning as we go. Oh, missed that one entirely. Very, very nice. Welcome and with all of these guys, station in the side should box. come a Just ton of ammo for our carbine. All used up. That was like a giant tokusatsu theme park. Oh, you ready for a little nice. Joy, fun, beautiful Sir Dog says, nice, yeah, it's a good game. I played it on 360. I think... They added, uh, not just, like, a graphical remaster and, like, the weird little Duke Nukem campaign, but they added, um, a couple pieces of side content to the remaster, didn't they? Fear-producing Terradome! Enter if you dare! Lo, behold the fetid pit of the great... Oh, this is lovely. I absolutely adore theme park or attraction-based stages in games. Oh. I haven't unlocked the charge yet. The Bone Duster. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy this. This looks like my kind of weapon. Oh yeah, it's like a very, very hefty shotgun. We can make this work. Oh man, did I have this sort of thing when I was a kid. I imagine your parents are grateful they did not. And she says, I prefer the one without window services. Uh, now nah, I kind of prefer the original for some reason. I think it's held up, like, visually at least. I think the game's held up very, very well from the time of release. And I, uh, I attribute a lot of that to, like, the specific art design and graphical shaders. I do not see the purpose of this. Oh, come on. You tell me you don't want to do some damage with one of those mech guns? Are, are we going to be driving a Godzilla around this, like, facsimile of a small city? That, that... Oh, that would be just so precious. Oh, no. Oh, guys, as, like, a set piece for combat, this is absolutely brutal. Well, brutal, yes, but brilliant as well. I, I am quite enjoying this. Not only is the design of, like, the arena itself really, like, unusual and striking, but the color palette they used for it, these, like, rich violets and blues, does even more to distinguish it from, like, the kind of orange, orangish-brown sandy environments we've seen up to this point. Really nice. I'm, I'm digging this. First game that comes to mind when I see, like, um, this exact set piece is, a uh, well, two, rather. Luigi's Mansion 3 is one of them, because a boss battle takes place on the, the set of a giant monster movie. Uh, but also, of all things, Secret Agent Clank for the PSP, because I believe there is um, a late-game boss battle between uh, Captain Quark, one of the game's secondary playable characters, who exists purely for comic relief, and, um... A, a giant, like, knockoff kaiju in a large city, which, it's strange that that's the game I think of, because just about every game in the Ratchet & Clank series from the second one on had some kind of, like, giant cityscape battles. And I, I, I'm sorry, I'll get right back around to chat just as soon as the, the action lets up here. Surfdog says, it's the nostalgia. I'm gonna try and beat this game today. I just got it downloaded and got the leash. Oh, right on. Uh, MCS, you playing on hard, and did you 100% the skill shots? Uh, I, I, 100%ing all the skill shots would take a very 
very, very long time, I'd imagine. And MC says this section's kind of made for the shotgun because of the close quarters. Um, if this plays like a lot of other retro-style shooters I remember experiencing like in my youth... Oh, hell yes. Yes, please. We, we are going to be fighting Godzilla. Hopefully. Um, the shotgun is going to be one of the more viable weapons throughout the game. Worst family fun vacation ever. Okay, let's let ourselves in there. Don't know why you would ever use, like, your hands to operate a switch if you could do the same with your awesome electrical whip. Oh, and Surf Dog, thanks so much for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. Glad to have you here. Clear. Feel free to drop into our Discord, uh, a permanent link to which is available in, uh, or at the bottom of the description, uh, page description. Oh, okay, we can, like, just... Equip our weapons for free. Nice. Um, if you would like to join a very positive and enthusiastic community of uh, game enthusiasts. Enthusiastic enthusiasts. There we go. Oh, hello. It's a slam move. Oh, limited use, of course. But... Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll have those in our back pocket. I've also never played either of the, like, quote-unquote modern Doom games, Doom uh, or Doom Eternal. Probably should get around to doing that at some point. Yeah, let's, let's try this out. Hey! Jesus. Bit too high up for the shotgun, eh? That's a pity. Get that graffiti. There we go. So these guys are part of a totally different society, I suppose, than the other, like, hostiles we've been fighting. They seem to have these really ornate bonehead dresses. Or no, no, the regular guys are still here, too. Surfdog says Doom Eternal was great. That's what I've heard. I, I've been wanting to check it out for some time. But again, uh, MC says have not played Eternal, but did the new Doom. That's the one, it's colloquially referred to just as Doom 2016, isn't it? Come on, please let me fight this thing at some point. Why do I get this shitty job? You were the asshole who got us into this. What the fuck? Same for the exposed electronics. Exit over here. Ah, lovely. At 12 o'clock. Come on. really like the handgun, as long as you can get a clean shot off on someone. Uh, MC says, but I did play through all the Dooms, uh, like the original Dooms, I suppose, and all the Quake games. Surf Dog says, uh, Doom 2016 was okay, or good. Uh, yeah, no, I've not heard many negative things about the new Doom games. Uh, like I said, I don't really keep my pulse, uh, or my fingers on the pulse of, like, the shooter community, but it seems to be almost universally regarded as, at the very worst, really competently made. Hope you had fun. Is this now my Godzilla? Oh, this is interesting. Cooler than it looks. Great. Let's go. 
Oh, we can control its laser eyes. Oh, that is so lovely. Even though it's just a set piece, my god, I love this. this. Oh, 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 man. Getting plenty of skill shots for this. Who? Oh, no, that's, that's a big guy. There we go. Let's have an advance on this guy. Let's press the interact button. Yeah, just, just walk right all over him. Or have one guy explode just from walking into him. Surf Dog says kill them all. Oh no, yeah, this this feels incredible. It's like uh, those moments that were kind of requisite in like old Rogue Squadron games and the like, where you were uh, allowed to pilot um, an AT-AT walker. Just incredibly, incredibly satisfying. All right, anything more for us? Oh, just one more boss. Okay, we got this. Come on, come on, Godzilla. There you go. Oh, here we go, yep. Oh, this is so cool. Let's keep moving. Sure, we would have gotten more points for actually like pinging that thing, but we're fine. Third dog says ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, no, we do have ten thousand points. Jesus. As soon as I can, I want to upgrade the shotgun. This might be the longest we've gone without a drop kit in the entire game so far. Oh, here we go. Back at it. Come on. Let's just get a beat on it. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, is he overheating? Was our Godzilla overheating temporarily? Well, not that it matters now, I don't suppose. Oh, no, you don't. That's the way. Yes, yes, yes. Destroy the entire structure here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we've got some more of these buggies. Okay, sure, we can handle that. MC says, I'm grateful to the game for not giving you a set piece and taking it away immediately. Yeah, yeah, that's something that, like, a lot of modern games especially are really bad with. Letting you play with a cool toy just long enough to hate the fact that it's being taken away from you. This is, like, an entire level unto itself, and I adore that. But there's no cover here, damn it. Ah, oh, hell. Surfbox says, yeah, you get to use it for a while. That That is really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're playing on a normal difficulty. As I said, I'm not... A, I'm not super great at shooters. B, I have this thing where I only ever really want to play games on whatever difficulty they're intended uh, to be experienced at by the devs. Uh, if I can help it, I never turn difficulty down or up from the default, unless there's special rewards uh, associated with the latter that I just, like, really, really want. 
And yeah, so far I'd say that this is just challenging enough. It's it's not ridiculously punishing. It it feels good. I, I can't just sleepwalk through this. Finally took down the vulture. Oh, only for it to be replaced. Okay, okay, we got this. Oh, and we have no other weapons, so even if I wanted to handle this one manually, I can't. Wave survival. Okay, we can we can manage that that is a very large little dome for one attraction, isn't it? I mean it just dominates the skyline. Ah, getting a beat on these vultures is with this thing in particular is just the worst. Come on, come on. On, we're, we're locked right onto it. There we go. And now we just gotta clean up down on the ground. That's the way. Good, good. Oh no, one more, one more. Alright, wave three. As we slowly but surely destroy all the architecture around here, I have a feeling when this is over, this entire plaza is just going to be devastated. That's more like it. Oh, there they are. Like taking candy from a grown man. <laughs> all right, let's have it open the way for us. Oh, and that must be the end of our, our pet pal. Yeah. He served us well. Unfortunately so, but that was a great little set piece. But I never got the chance to tell him. He will be remembered. MC says, yeah, the section is long enough to be fun, but doesn't stay overstay its welcome. It doesn't, and we got a trophy for for the effort. Size matters. Could be they just really like it, or maybe they really don't like what comes out of it. A lot of manpower. How many some uh? Kind of crazy, dangerous trouble within. How many chapters or stages does this yeah. game have? I'm not entirely sure. Right now we're Actually, in Act Act Two, Chapter Two, the end of Act Two, Chapter Two, I think. Supports are weakened. We Chapter three it. now, probably. Well, yeah, I wasn't proposing we buy a townhouse and move in. Ugh, this Back underground, place, this the crumbling ceiling sort of kills resale and no curb appeal. Looking far more man made than the natural cavern we were in earlier. MC says Just seven acts, moving. okay. Good length by like the standards of an FPS these days. Really good length, actually. No, no, we're there. We go. Dude, jeez. Shut your cob and run. Gotta find a way out ASAP. Nothing. We're sealed in. Wait, found something. There's a door over here. Yep, got it. Down we go. These sliding segments in first person look very cool, I must say. Oh, look at this. 
we're already on the, the border of the city, and I see more giant spinning wheels up ahead. Looks like they actually... Obviously, they're meant to be like some kind of water wheels there, but they use the same model as the one that chased us. Like, the same asset. I really like these more tropical environments. All final echo in the region. Commodore in need of backup. Hostiles have surrounded camp. Proceed with extreme caution. The dam is swarming with locals. All other final echo proceed to CEO's location. The broad signal's coming from that dam. A jump ship for Serrano will be en route. If we're going to find a way on it, we need her to lead us to it. Here we go. I'm just going to keep buying glorious, glorious shotgun ammo, and uh, fill up on pistol rounds as well. We'll just buy ammo for everything, because we kind of sort of need it. Let's go get her alive. Oh dear. Creer's turf. How you holding up? Well, MC, it's it's clear everybody, our leads in this game especially, are kind of meant to be horrible assholes, so. Creeps turf, okay. I mean, I don't like, broadly speaking, I'm not terribly fond of the way the game is written myself. Nice view. Uh, but, uh... Rough military hardened dudes sitting in an elevator. Like, like this. It, it's trying totally actually way, way too hard, but the uh, action itself is very uh, nice. That's a nervous chuckle. Either your human side gets the joke, or your computer side likes the way I look in these pants. <laughs> or a little of both, perhaps. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just a good looking man. Oh, this is lovely. This is looking very Fallout. Picking up a strange cellular composition. Mutant cannibals now? These other gangsters. Yeah, it looks like we might be done with these guys for a while. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Let's let's see what our new our new enemies are like. Yeah, that's kind of what I would have expected. Nice, nice performance by the shotgun, though. Watch out! These fuckers are fast and crafty. Yep, they're too fast, as I would have expected. Too fast for a kick, too, so the shotgun really is the way to go here. Come on. Come on. Whew, they're durable, too. Interestingly enough, they actually seem to be way more heavily armored than the, uh, albeit with very, very, like, kind of slipshod materials, than the standard bandits. That explain why they're tougher. MC says the pistol also works well, I'd imagine. Oh, okay. Down we go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, the pistol's definitely going to be better for this particular environment. Nice, nice! And it staggers them, which is just lovely. Oddly enough, they actually seem to fight in a more orderly manner than the other, like, bandits we fought so far. Like, they're keeping their heads down. They're, yeah, actually more tactically gifted than the others. Impressive in its own way. Don't you know the city would have been absolutely gorgeous when it was first constructed? One of the things I, I wasn't terribly fond of, uh... Oh! A sniper! 
Okay. Uh, regarding the last generation's obsession with post-apocalyptic settings, everything just so happens to look much nicer when it's not broken. If you weren't aware. I see a sniper rifle over there, though. I'm definitely getting that. One sniper means a dozen. Keep to cover. Hopper platform. Give me a target. Oh, here we go. Oh, sorry. We can control our bullets? Yes, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm really digging this. One more? Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's gnarly. Right on. At ease. Well, I dare say that's going to replace the pistol in our loadout from now on. All final echo. This is Commodore. I'm overrun and out of ammo. It's been hours since I heard a report. Send confirmation. Or I'll assume I'm all that's left. Well, I'm sure we're going to be fighting a bunch they of the Final Echo around Super General Kuala. Serrano's nope. hotel, yeah, right? Short time. MC says, told you this would be a great little piece of fun to relax after Bloodborne. Yeah, definitely. It's not, like, super demanding. Uh, there's a lot of ridiculous fun. Uh, again, like, even with what they're going for, the writing's, like, quite a bit much for me. But, like, from a mechanical and design perspective, this is, this is, like, really soothing video game junk food. Let's upgrade that sniper now. We've got two more weapons to discover. The Headhunter. Oh yeah, we're, we're upgrading this right off the bat. 20 bullets max for, for, like, an FPS uh, sniper rifle, that's that's a pretty generous uh, max ammo capacity, I think. Absolutely beautiful shoreline, isn't it? Oh, geez. Of course there are. Why, why wouldn't there be? Oh, damn it. Perfect dodge on his part. That one decidedly less so. How on earth do they have better, like, oh. Did he just shoot my bullet out of the air? Oh, that is nasty. Clear. Sure, this would also be ideal for grabbing some of those, uh, more, like, location-specific shots. Like the throat shot we just saw, like, crotch, butt, things like that. Anything that requires us to shoot a specific location on an enemy's body. Yep, yep. Kill them all. I need time to work on the bridge. On it. Oh dear. Dodged it just the right time. Good for you. What? I was I was aiming for the oil tank or gas tank, whatever. We got this. MC says, yep, that's how I got the butt shot. Yeah. Doesn't seem like there'd be many other really easy ways to get those. Ooh! Sends him flying, though. That's really nice. MC says you also have a skill shot for killing an enemy without aiming. Oh yeah, no scoping them, no doubt.
I do appreciate that after giving you each weapon, they have a little section intended more or less to tutorialize it. I mean, this one's largely, like, mandatory, but, like, say, with the shotgun, it was optional, but really helpful to use it in the, uh... Oh, damn it all. The Godzilla I exhibition. So close. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus. The fact that enemies always have time to react and dodge sniper fire makes using the rifle more challenging than it would be in a lot of games where sniper, in particular, sniper fire, but like, gunfire in general is usually instantaneous from like, emission to connection. Not so here. I do appreciate that you can also, like, lasso enemies' weapons and pull them in that way. Makes things a hell of a lot easier, I'd imagine. Oh dear. They're, they're everywhere. That's more like it. There you go. We have to stagger them first. He says, try the t a thumper in the building or kick them into the water. We may have already knocked one into the water earlier, but we'll, we'll give it another shot. If we can. There we go. Oh yeah, oh god, they're getting, like, just chummed by something immediately. Jeez. That's a great way to pick up some easy score, isn't it? Okay, I think we might be in the clear for now. There we go. Now what do we need? Pick up some sniper ammo, otherwise we are good. Doing very good on ammo so far. Glad to see that. Okay, Ishii's gonna have to get us in here. And here they come again. Oh, hello. Hello, explosives that you dodged expertly. They're not fighting mindlessly, I do appreciate that. There we go. Got rid of most of them. One of them was just floating mid-air after the... I, I guess he bounced off of one of the yachts. Okay. Always take some more ammo for... Oh, for the sniper. Very nice. Oh, those ammo crates, as we, like, expand our loadout, give us uh, rounds for multiple weapons at once. That's lovely. And he says skill shot with the sausage card is hard to get. I would imagine. Oh, 
All right, now I think we were told to use the thumper in a building. Let's do it. Fly swatter. Nice, nice, nice. Do we get extra points for, like, destroying the skulls, a or the heads a lot of them carry on uh, those javelins? Sounds like the kind of thing this game would do. Sausage cart, okay. Where are we at? You can get some killer range on that slide. <laughs> Ishii just like bringing him along for the ride, okay. No time to lose. Let's go. Here's what used to be, I guess, an absolutely lovely uh resort hotel. Shit. I mean, what are we gonna do if she bites it? What will we do? We'll die, Gray. She's our only path to Serrano, our sole means of escape. Ah, uh, yeah. What on earth happened here? It seems like society just collapsed in the wake of a war, maybe, or Elysium City. Certainly not anymore. Okay, what do we have? Yes. Yes. Radio controlled explosive round. Now you're talking. MC says that'll be explained. Good. Oh, oh, you know what? This sort of like roofed gallery reminds me of right down to the aesthetics. Uh, what little you get to see of Wonder City in Batman Arkham City. Also designed to be like a human paradise early on. Coolest location in that entire game, by the way. So this gorgeous hotel's been overrun by the cannibals, eh? Lots of them, no doubt. Oh dear. That's what we were going for, thank you. Can I just kick these? No. would be such a beautiful scenic location if not for all the blood and gore and cannibals. Oh wow, we got uh, we got points for destroying uh, or killing an enemy with a news bot. That's nice. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is all building up to a pretty rest. solid uh, act boss, no doubt. Signal's getting hot. Target's or I boss. hope, anyway. I mean, I know boss battles have never really been a lot of FPS's things, or a lot of shooters in general. But there was, actually, that uh, Souls-like shooter, yes, there actually is one of those, called Remnant from the Ashes, that okay. was pretty, uh, Get military. pretty popular, came out a year or so ago, I wanna say? That one had some fantastic bosses, based on what I've seen. I've not played it myself, but... Empty. The signal's mistaken. No. She's here. Boss time? Yep. Fight skillfully we may yet walk out. We may want to save some of the explosives. Or not. That that positioning was just too perfect for me. Use a thump attack, you got it. Oh, damn, very nice. Very, very nice. At or over a thousand points from that, I think. Okay, we got this. We got this. 
do like that they give you a drop kit right here in case you want to buy additional supers or something. Holy Moses. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. We got any ammo caches around here? If not, it's going to be Rapple time. Or, no it's not. We're not going to have to climb something. Just extend the bridge. As he says, there's also a legless skill shot. Well, let's go for it. Seems much harder to get, but... It's fine by me. It's just much easier to blow them away entirely. Or blow them apart entirely, I should say. Yeah, MC says harder to get, I'd imagine so. We'll, uh, upgrade the Thumper, how about it? And buy a ton of, uh, charges for it. More shotgun rounds, please, and we should be good. Love the effect of the shotgun, that thing is... ...brutally efficient. Really, really dig it, even though I tend to prefer accurate single shot kind of mid to long range weapons in games like this a lot of shooters come equipped with really really strong shotguns not like i'm complaining at all we've got to be working our way down to the cannibal chief somewhere holy moses well, we happen to have something for that. Oh no, we, we can't yet. And she says kick one into the, the smelters. Okay, you got it. Wanted to see if we get any bonus points for shooting their heads, but or the, the severed heads, I should say. But I guess they're just there to actually serve as distractions uh, while they're in cover. Which again, kind of ingenious. Alright, so into the forge. There we go. Man toast is a thing I just said. Oh, that was so close. Let's go, maybe for a no-scope kill? Yep. And the buck shot, nice. That'll be something for knocking them into these pits as well. As he says, man toast is a secret skill shot. Oh nice, well thanks for sharing with us then. We've gotten a couple of them by complete accident, I think. Jeez, how many of these guys are there? They just keep spawning in, I think. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. Wanted to get our shotgun out. Oh! As he says, there are common, unique, and secret, unique skill shots. 
Yeah, I've noticed a few of them, uh... A few of, like, the uh, general skill shots had, like, a special color denoting them. And we also, uh, saw red text when we earned them. I guess those are some unique skill shots. Yeah, they're definitely going for a very Gears of War design aesthetic for the, uh... The characters, the human cast, anyway. Hope it was worth the wait. Wow, nicely done. Yeah. Fuck you. You know who we are? And the suicidal limpic retards who tank. Easy down. Dead echo. Broken down piece of shit outfit went sideways and killed about ten thousand men, women, and children. Ten thousand innocent. Hear that, Ishii? Five thousand more than last time. What kind of idiot play was that? So wildly outclassed. Why didn't you morons just warp out? We didn't have a choice. With the Confederate price on our heads, we had to take Ulysses down before. We... Hey! Stay cool. Let's keep talking. Ah! Where is the evac point? Hey! Are you going to help us? Off this rock. This place is far too treacherous for you to survive alone, sister. We help you get to the evac. You help us get off world. That's the deal. Fine. But if either of you touch me again, I will butcher you. Let's go. Hey, calm the fuck down. I get it. We can't trust her. But we do need her alive. I do not trust either of you, and I will not hesitate to go. So I take it our happy little fire team is going to slowly expand as we go throughout the story. I... I'm sorry. Okay. Good. Let's head out. Understood. Damn fine mess. All right, another trophy earned. Damsel in distress, and on to perhaps uh, a new chapter. Maybe, maybe not. Ladies first. Ah, oh, crap! What kind of sicko does this? Creeps and skulls are at war. Skulls? Human gang. Stupid tribal tattoos and a lack of imagination. No food left, so the skulls treat the creeps like cattle. Creeps want payback, always looking to massacre any humans they find. Oh, I see. MC says this is the new chapter, I think. Yeah, pretty sure. In a lot of games like this, uh, even if you retain like your ammo count and things like that, the transition between uh, stages is masked with a cutscene. Hey, sniper rifle, thank you very much. Oh, no, I'm... Oh, no, we're just up on the dam. They're gonna be. Only way out of here is through that. We got a nice little gang war going on. Oh, caught him in the arm instead of the head, but hey, it'll do. There's... I desperately want to shoot down the air support, but... Probably not a good idea right now. Uh, no, you don't. Everybody in this game seems to have a sixth sense for sniper bullets. Okay. We're clearing them out. I mean, more quickly than I would have expected. Oh, hey, there we go. Um, didn't really do anything to get those points, but I'll take them. Oh, hello. Something horrible is going to happen with the big wheels, isn't it? 
I just have this horrible tingling feeling that we're going to have to deal with big wheels again. Holy Moses, these guys are durable. Come on, switch that weapon. There you go. That's more like it. Very, very nice. Down. MC says something horrible for the enemies when they're kicked in the wheel. Another skill shot, I presume. I'm actually thinking of getting and playing Remnant at some point. It's like a multiplayer game, so it could be fun for some of us to do together if we decide we like it. There's like four different worlds, each with their own very clear design aesthetics and enemies and bosses and the like. And, uh... Despite being like a third-person shooter, it apparently draws very heavy influence from Dark Souls. MC says, you are fine with me giving you some of the skill shots, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. As I said, this is, this is basically like decompression junk food for me, so I am just like making my way through this using whatever shooter strategies I remember for this type of game. And I don't tend to be the most creative person unless you give me a giant dungeon full of toxic rats and evil dwarves and things. Man, I really hope that's a thing in Elden Ring. Bring that rat covenant back, baby. I always see the electro flies too late to actually throw break. anybody into them. I'll keep the broad close to me and safe. Ah, oh, please stop calling her that. Okay. We need to top up on sniper ammo. One more round for the shotgun. Eh, one for the, uh, the carbine. And we, we should be good. His name's Ishii. Yeah, double swell. I'm Trishka. I'm Grace Great. Hunt. You're what I was trained to avoid becoming. And she says, well, I do hope we can get you in the Metro series at some point. Maybe. I'm open to trying anything, but I can tell you right now, like, the, the design aesthetics of those games, specifically, like, just the, the way the world and characters and all that look, aren't entirely my cup of tea. I, I can appreciate they've got some phenomenal quality, but... Like, the dismal, like, post-apocalyptic thing really ain't for me. As I said, I was one of very, very few people I was around when I was younger, say, in my generation, who preferred, like, the clean, sleek, utopian sci-fi aesthetics of the, uh, like, 50s, 60s, and 70s to, like, post-apocalyptic fiction when it came to my my futuristic games and uh, shows and things like that. This is about as colorful as I've seen like a, a pseudo like post-apocalyptic uh, setting get in quite some time. Aside from, like, I guess if you count, like, Darksiders 3, where it's, like, post-post-apocalyptic, like a, a post-human world, that's, uh, that's kind of different, I suppose, but that world is very, very colorful. Okay, let's... Oh! Let's fling you right through our body, apparently. 
Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Grinder, very nice. And she says, I was talking about Metro Exodus earlier, and I think the reason I liked it is because it has a more mature story. Yeah, no, I've heard the storytelling in the series is very, very good, and I can definitely appreciate that. That's an awful big noise! Is this what something we, we gotta lash? Yep. It's a magnetodynamic generator. The armature's current can blow this entire dam to shit. Got the job done. Come on. Oh, there we go. More ammo. Yes. The are More of these guys. We haven't seen them or... Well, it's strange. We saw, like, a bunch of creep units. Like, the shirtless guys with the... the buzzed hair and, like, the standard... Basically, the enemy standard riflemen in the same sections as, like, the Skull troops, but none of the other, like, creep variants. Maybe they just used, like, a generic marauder for the foot soldiers of each faction, and then each has special types. Like these! Oh, boy. Nope, well, let's, uh... These guys. These are the guys I was talking about. Oh, they are everywhere, aren't they? And she says, another game I was thinking of suggesting at some point, Ghost of a Tale. You play as a mouse in a world of rats. Well, that sounds kind of interesting. Oh, damn. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're running out of carbine ammo. Damn it. Oh, this seems to be another sniper encouraged section. There we go. I do love how it just carries them right off their feet. That is a very, very powerful gun. Just the way I like them. That's the way. There we go. That's more like it. So it looks like the big guys are invulnerable to standard uh, rifle fire, but everything else is fair game. Well, here we go. Stupid, stupid Complain about how I saved you later. Okay, time to run, right? Run and jump. Dive. Oh yeah, yeah, cheese it. Right? Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Um okay, hold on. We've got We've got weapons for this. Well, we didn't hit the pilot somehow, but we did uh, manage to take down the aircraft in one shot. Oh my god, here we go again. What did I tell you? Big wheel one more time. Oh, jump. Okay. Roll the dice. NC says there's also a skill shot for shooting an enemy and shooting their ally instead with the sniper, or like targeting an enemy and shooting their ally with the sniper instead. Vultures. That's interesting. Dance coming down. I would say let me see if I can actually aim for any of these guys, but I can't. This is purely a set piece, it looks like. This is your idea of a better plan. The one who shit the bed. I just washed your sheets. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Cannot aim to save our lives. That's more like it. There we go. Jeez, that's a... That's a hell of a way to end a level, isn't it? Well, we're slowly but surely getting closer and closer to the city. Agreed. Watching a genius like you problem solve is a real treat. All sarcasm lies a hint of truth. Spent half this trip swimming. Yet you still reek like sunbaked asshole. It's a coincidence. It's the name of Ishii's cologne. I got a team member down. We find him, we get a jump ship. Creeps took my leash. Had his location in it. So we're going to that bridge for a better view. Let's get find a us a drop kit quick location. so we can purchase some more ammo. Reports about this place are filed under the Forbidden Zone. You follow? Ah, dangerous place. I'm hit. Hallucination Nightclub. Hopefully we get to visit sometime soon. We've seen signage for this place throughout the entire game so far. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. I'll be right with you. Give me actually about two minutes. I'm also, I think I've got yet another delivery to pick up. Be right back. Folks, I'm back. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience. I think we've got one more stage in us today, or something thereabouts. Uh, and we've got uh, 
feels like we're kind of nearing the, the halfway point in this game, which is perfectly fine. This is exactly what I was looking for. Super grateful to MC for recommending this to us because this is going to allow us basically to uh, get all the taste of that blood out of our mouth from the last game we streamed and dive into Dark Souls 3 hale and hearty and really, uh, hopefully, uh, really, really enthusiastic. Uh, I do look forward to showing you guys Dark Souls 3 because uh, it has so much awesome stuff in it. Some great lore, a lot of really cool weapons and spells and things, and oh, because it was the first Dark Souls game designed for current-gen uh, hardware, it looks absolutely amazing. But we're also going to have some fun breaking down the game's kind of questionable lore. Really look forward to sharing that experience with you guys. And then we'll dive back into Hellpoint, which, uh, based on like that little hour we streamed yesterday, I don't know what you guys think, but... Uh, to my mind, it See, was looking really yeah, promising. I do. As long as you do it quiet. <laughs> nice and quiet. Okay, points to him. This is <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> Come on, just topple the whole building. Go, oh. aw. <laughs> Here we go. Interested to see what those last two weapons are going to be. Oh, you're explosive, aren't you? No? You've got to have some kind of combat utility. Yep. There we go. So we can like la latch on to these uh, these bizarre fruits and throw them at enemies. Attack kind of the sticky grenades, I guess. Back up, back up. Oh, they've got snipers. Oh lord, they've got snipers. Only that was a penetrating round. There we go. We got him, we got him. Well, so far I've been doing much better at this game than I would have expected to, having... Having... well, this genre not exactly be my wheelhouse. But you know what? Maybe... Maybe our experience with Bloodborne has just made me much better at video games in general. <laughs> like, if I handled that, I could tackle anything. You wanna go through this building? Or maybe demolish it? Ooh, newsbot. No question as to what to do with that. That's just free points right there. And here we go again. <laughs> MC says this game is an easy arcade ever. FPS. Yeah, no, I, I kind of dig that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Ooh! Carnivorous plants, nice. Murderous mutations wasn't included in a brochure for this vacation hell world. Venus man -eaters. Sounds for the way their location. That life on world is mutated. A lot of it's sentient. Not the squad on my first tour. Gotta love a good sentient plant. <clears throat> Who on earth builds a resort here? 
Come on, there we go. Oh, there we go. Don't know if I'll be able to, to tag this one, but we will try. Yep. MC says, I do love me some hard games, but I'll take well-designed games over anything. Agreed. Uh, well, for me, it's less about whether or not a game is hard, and the, the first and foremost thing for me, as should be incredibly evident if anybody's ever watched like 30 seconds of one of my streams, because I never shut up about it, is really compelling and uh, well thought out audio visual design and world building lore things like that like put me in a world i'm like happy to be in and i will even put up with like god awful gameplay please see uh, dragon age origins for uh, a good example of this Kind of clunky and clumsy as all hell, but god, the world building and opportunities for character development, they're mm, spot on. I swear, it feels like those bastard skulls are following us. We are not the target. They are heading towards that capsule, the one with Serrano in it. We need to get there first and protect the general. Protect the general. Unless that is at odds with your true motives. Look. I told you I'd get you off this planet, and I... Hey! Shit, our bunny hopped. There. If you are not going to cooperate, I have no reason to allow you to hey. live. Hey, hey, damn it, Stand it aside! This is my detail. You do what I say. One more betrayal. I will snap your neck. Nice friend. It used to be. I just trusted the wrong person. Ugh. Oh, there's a. Welcome to the park. Like a you botanical garden. Very nice. Is blocked. Can't see any way around it. How about you, Trishka? A monkey could figure it out. Well, then help, monkey. I'm not exactly feeling charitable at the moment. You figure it out in the next 15 seconds, and hey, I'll grant you a wish. Uh, gonna make you regret that. The answer probably has something to do with explosions, doesn't it? No? Am I actually expected to do something here, or no? Is this a joke? You're a grade-A douchebag. Ah, of course. Why ever not? Sure. Sure. Uh, oh, oh, we got stuck on the geometry there. Place was inundated with solar radiation. They tried to get the tourists out, but there was... Banshees. I hear them. Oh, we've got some of those beefier airships coming in now. MC says you can do it yourself on that time the game isn't scripted. Well, that's interesting, I suppose, but... I wasn't exactly expecting... The solution to be far, far behind us. Oh, what do we have out here? Schools, to the left. Oh, yes, hello. I've got the solution to you. There we go. That's more like it. Brilliant, brilliant. 
Oh, oh my god, what what happened to your ragdoll? He's stuck between, strung across two cactuses. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, uh, wasn't expecting to see this today, but I'm so glad that I, I get to. I feel truly blessed. Somebody party. clip that. Okay. Nothing too special here. Can I like... It'd be awesome if you could somehow like leash the flares and throw them back. Not entirely sure we can though. A, a an upgraded model. There we go. Nice and easy. Heavy weapon? Uh since we're going indoors, yeah, why not? We'll try it out, and if we don't like it, we can, uh, swap Darkness, it out at the next drop kit. Hope you're ready for me. MC says, I like to mention the gimmicks of the game, if only to show a little bit of the effort put behind it. And you have flares of your own. Oh, I know I do, I just mean, like, it'd be really cool if we could use our lash in that specific combat scenario to, like, redirect, uh, non-ballistic projectiles. Like the cannonballs, or things like that. Strange biological composition. And she said that game, that weapon gave me the hardest time mastering. Oh, I was reading chat. Totally missed that. But... It says really cool when you know how to use it. inside those things. I said. Causes pugnacious hallucinations. Anti peace pipe. Yes. In monkey terms. Love me a good botanical garden. I really do. Now for the second time in this game, I am reminded strongly of something from the Batman Arkham series. Specifically, well, the therapeutic botanical garden from, uh, really kind of the third act of the first game. What a gorgeous area that was. And he says you're gonna love this garden. Oh, I don't doubt it. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so it doesn't have the largest radius in the world. Oh. Even the worst shit has worse. Antidote. Lovely. There was also, um, a botanical garden in the, uh, in the second act, more or less, of Batman Arkham City, but you accessed it only as part of, like, the Catwoman DLC campaign that I have never played to date, but want to, hopefully when we stream the, uh, Batman Arkham series at some point in the future. They're some of my favorite games of all time. I'd love to share those with you. I got it. Also insanely well-designed games that, in my opinion, only get better over time. Holy Moses. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. What happy horse shit was that? Looks like we'll have to throw down with that thing at some point in the future. Not leaving till I see a body. You're gonna see two bodies if you stick around here, Chromag. You wanna head out there on your own? Feel free, sister. But I wait. Picking up something on the leash. <laughs> that crafty metal bastard sent in a signal. God damn, he's underground. Ooh. A good clip too. Come on, 
to the other side of the gardens, right? The other dome. Ah, oh, fast food. Charming. Shake your tail, feather. Ishi's on short time. All right, back to it. You know, I think uh, as we progress on, the shotgun is quickly becoming probably my favorite all-purpose weapon. Oh, but what, say, were to happen if I was to fling one of you guys into the pods? Oh, kind of hard to do that, I suppose. Oh, they're even turning on each other thanks to the hallucinogens. Excellent. If we could take out giant shark demons that way, we could take out these guys. Nice and easy. So it seems like the flare gunners are the most frail enemies in the entire game. Just got guns and limbs and such flying all over the place. That's pretty- oh god, no, not you. Oh, we got the bully skill shot. No, damn it! Ishi's not moving. Not Absolutely hate the flail gunners. Thanks for the optimism. Very maternal. Do do you get it? Because there's a female character in this game. She she's a woman. We need to constantly remind you of that. It's yeah yeah. Something about the writing is bothering me. The more we we get into this, like. Borderlands was very juvenile, but it also had this kind of really sweet heart to it, and a lot of likable characters with surprisingly positive messages at certain points. This is just kind of unabashedly meat-headed, and as I carry on, it's like they're trying to be tongue-in-cheek by just being the thing they're making fun of. There's, there's no commentary here, like how ridiculous these tropes are, it's just, hey, here's the thing. Again, gameplay's great, just the writing's, uh, definitely not. Ooh, we knocked the explosive off its moorings. That's probably not great. Yeah, the cannon reminds me of, like, the kind of weapon you'd see in Ratchet and Clank. Very, very strange method of, like, projectile delivery, but very strong if used properly. And I definitely don't know how to use it properly. There we go, straight into one of the plants. Brilliant. Goodbye. Hello, Newsbot. Goodbye, Newsbot. That Newsbot was a little out of the way, wasn't it? Well, let's see, I think what we're talking about here, like when it comes to like script and characterization is also, at least in part, a matter of uh, translation and localization. And I can definitely see, like, some Borderlands team influences here enacted on, like, a very different type of game. Oh, there we go! Guess we didn't get that skill shot the first time around because we didn't... We, like, sent an enemy flying around and they ricocheted into the plant. We didn't kick them more or less directly into the plant uh, ourselves. A 
lots of opportunities for skill kills here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. MC says, nah, they, they wrote the game in English directly. Really? That's... Well, good for them. That's pretty impressive. I don't know if, like, the same thing applied to the Soulsborne series. I don't think it did. Oh, good. Oh, good. So are we finally fighting one of these things, or, or no? Yes, we are. Oh, of all the times to not have my sniper rifle. Ah! Wait, I can get my sniper rifle now. Hoo 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 hoo. Uh. Replace the, uh, the left weapon, right? Yeah. Nice engineering work there, skull boys. Oh, God, they're everywhere, and kind of just running into each other for some reason. Oh, 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 there we go. So at this point, we're fighting the cannibals almost exclusively, is my, my read of the situation. Ah, uh, ah, uh, he said the title. Oh no. Okay, we got in the cover in time, more or less. Trying, trying. Lovely. Ballsy coming up. Weirdos around every corner. We just totally launched that one. Oh my. Let's take care of this flare gunner, shall we? We've tolerated him just a bit too long. Love tight spots. I'm not even gonna touch that one. MC says, think of it this way, we have all the American shows dubbed, but the 80s, 90s Meathead shows were directly associated with Americans and how they are right, stereotypes. The shows we have dubbed now are more tame and less directly associated with the country, so we skipped a beat culture-wise. Right, 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 right. And, like, the very early ones, like you say, or the, the material a lot of folks got, like, in the, the 80s and 90s, would have been subtitled, especially in certain parts of the world, rather than directly overdubbed, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. Here they come. Ah, screw it. Spent. Yep. Bring these goons. This is clock is running dead. We're almost there. We're almost to the garden. Quite a beautiful environment they have us fighting through, though, isn't it? Hello, newsbot. Goodbye, newsbot. MC says, so yeah, this is sort of a mirror into the past, script-wise. Yeah, I, I can see that. It's also, I think, just, like, from, from an aesthetic sensibility, like, with all the crazy, silly names for skill shots, 
and uh, over-the-top weapons and violence and all that. It does a great job kind of lampooning this type of entertainment from a, like, mechanical perspective, like a general design perspective. It just feels like the script in particular isn't quite there. Uh, like, it's closer to just playing so many of the tropes straight, whether it intends to or not. Like, you, you, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, mechanically, right down to the design of the world and enemies and all that, it's it's a pretty good light-hearted take on the genre, I think. I can't take that script, but everything else is fine. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, do I not get points for doing that? Oh, God! Oh, we're in Act 4 already. Nice. So that means once we clear this uh, this stage and take down whatever the hell that is, um, stage boss, I guess, we'll have three to go, meaning uh, tomorrow we should be able to finish Bulletstorm. Halfway there. Keep up and stay alert. Come on, let me... There we go. I'm not even going to touch that one. Just go ahead and top my ammo off. <laughs> the ones coated in like that green slime seem to be a bit more resilient for some reason. Oh, it's some kind of toxin, I think. Of course it is. There we go. Oh, and straight to the cactus. Right, 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 right. Oh no, so close. What? <laughs> Did I just clip right through him? Oh man. That's more like it. Cactus or Electro flies? Uh, electro flies that time. There we go. Brand new skill shot. Finally. Ooh. Nice. I don't know what afterburner. I was about to say, I don't know exactly what skill kill that was going to count as, but we could have earned up to four of them there. Come on. There we go. Oh, and the refreshment carts actually, like, lift enemies up temporarily. Let's get rid of you on the front end. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. There we are. Much better. MC says, I mean, I yeah, I get what you mean perfectly, but I read a lot of critics complaining about the script and not understanding some of the reasons behind it. I don't particularly like it, but knowing why is important in my opinion. Yeah, sure, having a proper context for things in order to criticize them fairly. Um... And, uh, you killed all the Electro Flies. Right, no, we, we shot, uh, a bandit into them. And, uh, we can feed the plants an explosive. Might want to try that later. But it looks like we're almost to our boss battle. Mausoleum. What is this? The creep's meditation chamber? They don't seem like the quiet, reflective type. Even the plants are resilient. Now, of all the games I'm reminded of, it's Metroid Prime, specifically the, uh, I want to say fifth boss in Metroid Prime 1, uh, Flagra, the giant carnivorous plant that's overtaken, like, an entire sector of the game's world. In fact, you find it in environs not too different from these. Check your corners. Trust nothing. 
Any plants you see could be connected. What the hell are we marching into? MC says, yeah, I can see Metroid Prime no vibes. Idea. I would love to get a port of the Metroid Prime trilogy for uh, Switch in advance of Metroid Prime 4, seeing as how I never played through all of Echoes or any of Corruption and really, really want to. Some of my favorite shooters are some of my favorite games of all time, despite not having a ton of experience with them. I just love the way they're designed. So much rich lore and incentive to scan everything. They really want to tell you a lot about the game's world. It's an oddly thoughtful shooter. And oh, here we go. Same as the one she disappeared into. Yeah, this looks very boss-like. Let's do it. Oh, we've got a proper, like, health bar and everything. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, let's think. Obviously, we want to keep our ammo nearby. Just shoot the hell out of its maw, probably? Yeah, that, that seems to be doing the job. Roof, watch the ground! Torpedo anything that moves! You can deal more damage by shooting the roots. Nice, it, it doesn't seem long for this world. More roots! Watch your feet! Oh, we got it, we got it. Kinda, sorta, there we go. And down. Oh, no. Phase two. Destroy all of these glowing fruits, I'd imagine. Oh god, it's healing. I was about to say, that was going down kinda fast. We got it though. We we we've learned this fight. All right, I'll take my ammo now. Thank you, sir. Definitely want to use our shotgun on those pustules when they are exposed once again. Oh, this is very cool for like a modern first-person shooter boss fight. Yeah, not bad at all. Roots are everywhere. No way to anticipate them. More roots. Which we destroyed. Alright, here we go again. Regenerating. Focus your fire on those orange membranes. Got it. Well, we would have got it if the damn thing didn't have so much resistance on... Was it counting the shotgun as too far away to actually connect with most of those? Oh dear, that's, that's exactly what it was, wasn't it? Do we have unlimited ammo in reality for the carbine? Or, yes, we do. And we've just wandered onto some more uh, ammunition, so that's perfectly fine. Doesn't make sense that my shotgun doesn't deal more damage when it's full spread, would have connected with the pustule, but that's fine, I guess. This should do it. Hold on, let me go pick up some more ammo if we can find any anywhere. Yes, we can. All right, here we go again. Use the leash. Forgive me, drill sergeant, but I'm doing just fine. Over Use the here. leash. Well, we got it. Leash or no? Or do we have to bring it down one more time? Yep. Okay, multi-phase boss fight. Even look at you. Want 
that thing to get its mouth around you. And now it has actually far less health in this form. And a ton of writhing either roots or grubs or something. So it's just trying to grapple us to death at this point. It's in like it's death throws, more or less. Still not the end, is it? Okay, bastards trying to regenerate! Hit it with everything you've got! Nuke those tentacles! Hey, tentacles? That is fucking gross! Okay. This is unexpected, but we got it. I could just barely see that last cluster. We'll take it down one more time. Oh, this would have been the fight for the pistol, if ever there was one. Well, it's not exactly putting up a whole hell of a lot of fight at this point. This might actually, hold up, be time for the sniper. Explosive bullet, there you go. There we go. We were so close to taking it down the first time we dropped it, but there we go. Or not. Jesus Christ, there's more? Oh, I guess we've got to shoot it down one more time, yeah? Okay. Got it. Working on it. There we go. Whew. Golly Moses. Special uh, skill shot just for defeating that thing, as I would hope. That actually felt kind of Metroid Primey. MC says, uh, yeah, I could, uh, they did all three Metroid Prime games on Wii, the Wii controls for it were amazing. Oh, I know, the trilogy. That's how I actually played and completed all of the original Metroid Prime and a bit of Echoes. Thank you very much, thank you. Um, took us a little while, but not a hard fight at all. Um, but it was a, uh, I, I love the trilogy, I just, uh, Never got around to finishing the second game or playing the third. Got distracted again, I suppose. But I would love to see, like, a even further improved port of the trilogy on a uh, Switch. To, you know, go along with Metroid Prime 4, which I'm hoping is just absolutely stellar. Holy damn. Ooh. That's a fall. Golly. That collapsed building. We can use it to cross. That is a suicide march. Really? What's new? Aw, oh, what a All very right. tough guy answer. Oh, I just really want to improve. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we're going to have to call it for the day. We are well over halfway through the game, I want to say. Uh, we've got, or should have, three full acts left uh, before we are done with Bulletstorm, meaning I hope you can join me tomorrow to probably, I would say, complete the game, or make it through the main campaign at any rate, getting us well set and primed for Dark Souls 3, which may take a couple days to come out because the forthcoming week is going to be my first week back both remotely exclusively, of course, at school and at work at my university. Uh, so I'm going to try to do my level best to not disrupt our standard streaming schedule too much, but there might be some, some fluctuations here and there and maybe a serious drop-off in streaming toward the end of the semester. But I'm going to try to do my best to move all my responsibilities around to where we're, it's not too disruptive on our plans here. Until then, thank you so much for joining me for uh, and look at this very interesting FPS from last generation, remastered for the PS4. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for the conclusion. Uh, and MC says, thank you for the stream. Of course, man, anytime. Thanks for being here and for recommending the game. And yeah, you're blazing through it. I'm doing much better than I expected I would. Um, 
If you're catching us live on Twitch or after the fact as a VOD on YouTube, I want to thank you so much for deciding to share your time and yourselves with us this afternoon. Feel free to drop by our Twitch page and subscribe, not subscribe, but uh, follow the channel if you would like to stay up to date on, you know, when we're streaming, when we're live. And uh, drop down into our Discord, a permanent link to which should be available at the bottom of my Twitch page description, if you would care to join us uh, in really just a very fun, positive, and engaging community, as well as stay up to date on my very erratic streaming schedule. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!